What's up, everyone? This is the one and only Mark Spencer, and I'm back once again, folks, with Adventures of the Adventures. This is a new show. No, this is a big show for this summer's Euro 2008 Big Tournament. No doubt about it. Euro 2008 Review. Hello, folks. This is the one and only Mark Spencer, and folks, I am so glad to be able to host the show with the big show already underway, all out in Austria, Switzerland. Folks, the tournament has been pretty good so far of what I've seen. And, you know, sometimes you wonder, you know, if if this is the show. So, you know, this is the show. And, and this is what the game's all about. And, you know, the fans all over Europe are, are so excited to cheer on their teams. I mean, even North America, where I am from... It's huge. It's just like a, it's like it's like it's like a fever, you know. They're all they're all passionate about their teams. They're all passionate about the, you know the the, the the you know the atmosphere and you know seeing their their countries and cheering them on and, and going for their favorite teams. You know you know just watching the first two games so far. I watched the Czech Republic and um, it was Austria against um, who would they play? Austria against um, Croatia yesterday, and I watched Czech Republic hosting um, was it? Switzerland. But the sad thing is, Swiss lost their their star player, and um, Alexander Fry. You know he had a serious knee injury, so he's out for the rest of the tournament, six weeks. What a critical, critical blow to the Swiss. They came into this tournament with high expectations, high hopes, but they're still not out. It's just one game, but they know the next game is do or die. They have to win, and you know anything's possible. And I watched the Croatia beat up Austria, but Austria put up a put up a fight against Croatia. They really, really put some shots on the goalkeeper uh, for the um, Croatian team. You know it. It had some decent shots, you know. They're really attacking. You know, I don't think Austria is going to be the whipping boy of this group. That Austria's in with Germany, Poland, and Croatia. You know, Poland lost to the Germans yesterday, but you know they did play good. You know they did play good. But the thing I I've always criticized about Poland is they can't score goals. If you can't score goals, you're not going to go anywhere in any tournament. And you know what? Lukas Podolski scored some of the sweetest goals yesterday, folks. He scored two amazing goals: one on a bicycle kick and one on a great crossing you know this guy is just an amazing talent lucas podolski and don't forget he was born in poland so it's a good thing he has his parents are from um, germany you could play for germany because he could play for poland too don't forget he was born and raised in poland but it's true that his family's from uh germany so he can't play for germany so you know, it's a double-edged sword. Sometimes it just works like that. You know, where, you know, <laughs> you play in one country and you can play for another country. It's a crazy, crazy thing. And today it looks like France will be taking on Romania. You know what? You know, the French, you know, there's a lot of pressure on them. You know, I'm really surprised they didn't bring David Trezeguet with them. You know, he's a real experienced player. Henri's injured for this game. He has a nerve problem. What I've been hearing from the pregame pundits. So, you know, let me tell you, you know, if Patrick Vieira can get healthy for the next game, I don't watch out for France. You know, I think they have to win today. This is so critical. The first game so important for the French. They got to win today against Romania. But Romania is a tough team. You, no one can say to me that Romania is not going to do good in this tournament. You know, you have a whole nother can of beans to can because this team is playing pretty good as far as I'm concerned. And... You know, that's what it is. You know, you have to have confidence coming into a huge tournament like this. And the Romanians got to be positive with their stars like Mutu, you know, Christian Kivu, and a few of the rest of their young stars that have coming up throughout the ranks. You know, the manager, a former star for the Romanian side, you know, he wants them to attack the net, score as many goals as they can. Because the more goals you score, the better your chances of making it through the tournament. And let me tell you, it's not as easy as it looks, you know, to score goals. And I've watched uh, a bit so far. It's not that easy. But you're seeing some great goals chances, teams, defense, breaking down, bad communication. You know, this is all it takes. It's a little bounce, a little piece of luck, a little piece of magic. That's all it takes sometimes to get a goal. And the next big, big game today, folks, is Italy versus the, the Holland. You know, Holland's coming into this tournament focused. Marco Van Basten, one of the greatest players in the history of the game of football, is the manager of this team. He's the last 
last player to hold the trophy up for the Holland in 1988. So can they get back to where they were in 1988 to beat Italy today, to get off to a flying start? Well, the World Cup champions are coming into this really hurting. It looks like Cannavaro is done. He's pretty much injured for the tournament. And look what I'm hearing. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Del Piero says in an interview that they're going to win. Just got to take it one game at a time. It's not as easy as it looks. The European Championship is a whole different ball game, is what he said in an interview. And let me tell you, anything is possible. I've always said that you have to work hard and make something happen. So, anything's possible. Well, folks, I said anything's possible. The Euro 2008 review with Mark Spencer. We'll be back again, folks. We'll be back next week when we're talking about who's leading their groups. Well, all I know right now, who's leading their groups. Germany's leading their group. And the Czech Republic's leading theirs. So, my name is Mark Spencer. For UEFA Euro 2008 from Austria, Switzerland. This is my review on the current events that's happening right now as we speak. We'll see you again, folks. I love doing this. We'll see you next time. Hey, go France. Viva France. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so long, everyone. We'll see you next time.